Woo! Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live from Vietnam. This is our afternoon drive time update, guys. Remember, everything you're about to see in this video is not financial advice. This is just the OG in the house expressing his opinion, and this video is for education and entertainment purposes only, guys. And a lot of you out there have been wondering what's going on with crypto. Why is crypto down? Uh, why is uh, Bitcoin gone down? Why is Ethereum going down? What the hockey, the HE double hockey stick is happening with Shiba Inu? What's going on with Doge? We're going to talk about all of that. I'm going to tell you the reason why this is happening, what we can expect in the next, uh, you know, 48 hours or so. Why is the crypto markets crashing right now? Should you be worried? Remember, you got to watch this video to the end. Got to watch it to the end, guys, because if you don't, you're going to miss all the important stuff, guys. And don't forget to go down there right now. Go down there, smash the likes, subscribe, EYB, and uh, tell the YouTube algorithm that you like this content. The only way you can do that is do those three, three things. Subscribe, like, and comment, and keep the comments positive. And, uh, you know, I don't want to be seeing all these salty comments, guys. So keep the uh, comments uh, uh, positive, guys. Keep it positive. So, you know, it's good to be back. And this is OG, the Ric Flair of crypto. Woo! in the house and guys this is a crypto love coming to you live from BNM as I said so you can see right now that uh, Bitcoin um, you know was down from where it was yesterday yesterday we were getting pretty close to uh, sixty nine thousand dollars depending on what exchange you were looking at and right now as of time of recording here in Vietnam this uh, Bitcoin is trading at uh, sixty four thousand six hundred in the house guys so you know how does that make you feel? You know, when things go down, I mean, a, a lot of you uh, are, are like bracing for impact and think that this is, uh, you know, the end of the world and all that kind of stuff. Let me tell you, it's not the end of the world. We're seeing across the across the, the whole board around about, you know, a total, uh, a total, uh, you know, where we were at the top at 69 to where we are now, around about a 6% uh, uh, drop. So right now it's come back a little bit and we're seeing that uh, Bitcoin right now is down almost 2.80% uh, guys in the house. Let me just get my glasses on right now let me get my glasses get my glasses for it so there i can see better i'm not blind as a bat so we're also seeing that ethereum right now is at four thousand six hundred and thirty nine dollars in the house and that's uh down 1.31 percent so ethereum is coming back a little bit better than uh bitcoin uh and we're gonna jump in i'm going to absolutely tell you why why bitcoin and the market's are going down so you gotta stay tuned keep watching guys uh, Solana in the house is right now, it's up almost 1% and it's trading at $238.75. Boom. So, you know, Solana has been a really good mover. Uh, people have been talking about Kadena in the house. They say Kadena could be the next Solana. So you guys are going to have to absolutely keep an eye on that one. Uh, Kadena is a bit of a complicated uh, coin because it's not on any of the major exchanges. Uh, it's on Hobe, of course, you know, Uniswap, uh, one inch, you know, the decentralized exchanges, you can definitely pick it up. Uh, I remember this is not financial advice. I did not tell you to pick it up. I saying that's where you can buy it. So if you want to figure out where to buy Kadena, what you can do is go to CoinMarketCap, uh, put in the symbol, check, and go down to the bottom, and it'll tell you uh, where you can buy it. So it's not on a lot of the main exchanges. We're seeing uh, ADA is down right now as well. ADA is down about 5.67%. It took a huge tumble, guys. It took a huge, huge tumble, a huge hit. And... Uh, you know, what can I say about ADA? You know, it's a, it was doing really good yesterday. It was, you know, above my zone one, which was, uh, you know, from $2 to $2.15. And it was in my uh, the second zone, which was ranging between $2.15 and $2.30. So uh, ADA has kind of given up a lot of territory. And, uh, you know, we were really hoping that that was the breakout that we were looking for. It wasn't. So keep, guys, keep watching. And I'm going to tell you why the crypto markets are going down, dee dee dee, -dee down, down. That's a song by Ina, in case you're wondering. I love that song. It makes me crazy. I just it's like in my brain even when I was in the hospital it's like down dee -dee -dee -dee, down down so we're also seeing polka dot right now polka dot is down also 5.7 percent we're seeing that overall the markets uh, are down and depending on what exchange you're looking around about 3.38 uh, percent to 4.5 percent they were as low as six percent yesterday when we saw the huge big dumpage happening people were panicking and doge my doge woof, woof, the doge in the house doge going to the moon guys and doge right now is trading at 26 uh, 2824, that's 26 cents, and uh, some ch -ch -ch change, and uh, that is uh, down 2.50%. And then, of course, we have, you know, Shiba Inu is not doing too good. Shiba Inu is also down 5% right now, and uh, Shiba Inu is at uh, 000051. And, uh, you know, what, what, what can we say for, for Shiba Inu? Well, you know, 
as I said in my yesterday's video, that we're seeing that Shiba Inu is just kind of range bound. It's going really this way. And we got some huge resistance around 55 uh, area. And uh, you know, if we cannot, and then we have support at 48. So if, if that support doesn't hold, then we could see, we could definitely see Shiba Inu going down to 32. What should you be doing if you're a Shiba Inu holder right now? What should you be doing? You should be doing absolutely nothing. Do not panic. As long as we maintain that, you know, four, eight area support, we should be just fine. And, you know, I think in the short term, we could see uh, some volatility. We could see Shiba Inu maybe even breaking below the 48 uh, level area. Uh, should you be selling? I mean, this is not financial advice. That's totally up to you. Don't forget to smash the likes. But what I, would, what I am doing, what I am doing personally is I'm going to be holding because I see that, you know, three months, six months, a year from now, Shiba's going to have a pretty good upside uh, from my perspective. So that's what I would be doing. Sure, I may be looking at some dollar cost averaging, but, you know, um, we're holding a lot right now here. Well, my wife's holding a lot. Uh, so we're not going to be picking up any more. We're just we're pretty comfortable where we are. And, you know, this is kind of, you know, one of these long-term moon boy projects that I call them, or my wife calls them moon boy project. If they, if they, if they go to the stratosphere, fantastic, we're in the money. Because remember, you know, somebody invested $8,000 and this became the most, uh, most, biggest return investment in the history of mankind is like you know like almost 4.75 billion dollar return so we're holding on to that maybe we can get lucky maybe we'll, you know another big boom will come in six months to a year from now so we're holding where we are right now we're not buying more that's just what we're doing dogecoin we're still loving the doge we're still holding four million doge and we're still doing okay guys and uh, sure if if i think doge is going to continue we got some huge support around about 2475 area and i don't think we're going to be going below that i am still optimistic very very optimistic that we could see definitely a 20 uh, a 35 cent uh, doge coin closing this month you know i'm looking at uh, btc about 98000 i'm looking at around about $6000 for uh, for ethereum now i know a lot of you out there have been sending me messages og og what's going on with Ethereum gas fees. And I will tell you that the gas fees right now are insane, insane in the membrane and they're driving everybody nuts. Uh, you know, don't worry about it. They will come down. I remember when we convert to Ethereum 2.0, uh, proof, of, proof of stake, we're gonna see these fees coming down. So why are the crypto markets crashing right now in front of our eyes? Why is it happening? Why is it making everybody crazy in the membrane? Well, it's one simple thing. We are seeing that the inflation rate right now is the highest that it's been in 31 years. Okay, I repeat that. The inflation rate is the highest that it's been in 31 years, guys. And uh, you know, and it's up 1%, almost 1% from last month. And the inflation rate is around about 6.31%, uh, give or take, depending on uh, who's reporting it. And we saw that a lot of institutions panicked yesterday. We saw the Dow Jones and the broader markets, uh, the S&P 500 all tanked. They all dropped around about 6%. We saw that the bond yields had gone up. And when the bond yields go up, it's often because the stock market is tanking. So a lot of large institutions uh, that are in the traditional markets, they go by their traditional playbook. When inflation gets reported and it's super high, what they do is they, they liquidate some of their positions, take profits, move over to the bonds because the bonds are yielding higher and that's what happened and then when the broader markets dump it dump dump what happens is that's going to have a domino effect on the cryptocurrency and that exactly is what happened ladies and gentlemen out there that's why we saw this big six percent correction and you know let's take everything and let's just zoom out a little bit zoom out and from the perspective of everything out there we're seeing that a six percent drop in cryptocurrency is nothing. A 6% drop is nothing, guys, so don't panic. If you're a newbie, you probably thought that the meteor was coming and it was gonna destroy the earth and it was the end of the world, guys. It's not the end of the world. This is just a tiny, uh, tiny shakeout, so this is gonna be good. It's gonna be shaking out all the paper hands. So if you're a paper hand person and you panic and you're sold, it's your loss, guys, because plan B and all the data says that's 98 thousand dollars is incoming for uh, Bitcoin that's not financial advice we're also seeing that uh, you know we're looking at 
that the VVOL is predicting that we could see the cycle top in 50 days or 41 days, depending on which, uh, you know, which paradigm you're following. So if it's in 41 days, we still have time. There is still absolutely time uh, that we will see the Bitcoin top in about 41 days. So that is why the cryptos tanked yesterday. Also, we had a little bit of China FUD. We had this ever grand day thing and you know and the things not looking pretty good and the liquidators are moving in on that one so i had a little bit of china fud mixed in there timing is quite interesting how it comes out the china fud and the uh, cpi data the inflation data comes out so remember why is the inflation data important the inflation data means that all of your fiat currency that's sitting in your bank and wells fargo or wherever Citibank or whatever bank america it means that the value of that money sitting in the bank is going down, de -de 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 down. It means that the one dollar that you had yesterday is worth less than it is today. The one dollar that you had last month is worth six, over six percent less than it was last month, guys. So what that, what that's gonna, what is that going to do? It's going to drive people to look for alternative solutions and strategies to keep and save their money. And we all know that cryptocurrency in mo most projects are a hedge against inflation. And the whole crypto market is outperforming the tech sector, outperforming the bond sector, outperforming the NASDAQ, the S&P. It's outperforming all of the, tra the traditional broader-based markets. So guys and gals, this is abs absolutely a good thing. When we see the inflation data is super high, this is good for crypto because it's going to drive more liquidity into the market. Do not panic. Things are looking okay. Peachy keen in the house. Smash the likes, guys. You're going to love it. And it's a good time to be alive, guys. So do not panic. So that is why cryptos are dumping right now. It's because of the CPI data. It's the highest it's ever been in 31 years. Guys, let that sink in. It's the highest. It's the highest it's been in 31 years. Can you imagine? 31 years, guys. That's more than half my lifetime. So it's insane. So I don't know what's going on. The Fed's just... Uh, it's not good, okay? All I got to say is not good. So guys and gals, I just want to say God bless you. Thank you for watching. Go over to my Twitter right now. Do it now and follow me on Twitter. Go down there, smash the likes, subscribe, YB in the house. I'm telling you to do it and uh, make a comment, guys. And don't forget to check out all of the uh, links below. All my links, guys. We got, you know, become a Patreon member, buy the channel of coffee, show some support, show some love. And don't forget to go to the merchy merch. We got, we got the mug de mug. We got a new product, the bear de bear. You can buy a bear for your kid. It's a beautiful bear. It's a crypto daily trade. It's just, bear, who wouldn't want the bear? And guys and gals, don't forget to go to uh, Zen Music, the wife's channel. Go over there, subscribe to YB, leave a comment, and we'll give you a big shout out, guys. So I just want to say God bless each and every single one of you out there. And I want to say I love you guys. I love my community. Without you, this channel wouldn't be possible. Smash the likes. Let's get a thousand likes, guys. Show some love. This is the OG, the Ric Flair. Woo! Of crypto in the house, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. I love it. You love it. Be well. Be blessed. Go Go with God. Be with God. Be well, people out there. You know you need it. I want it. Let's keep positive. Live life like it's your last minute on planet Earth. Keep it positive. Keep it real. Spread a good vibe. Yeah.